I'm still working on my CNC version 3.2.2. As you can see, the mechanics is already running fine after I've done a couple of modifications and implemented the coolant flow. Currently I'm writing on the software to make the machine accessible through a web interface with the Apache server running on the Symatic. Furthermore, I'm implementing G-code functionality. To check for the precision the simple mechanics can deliver, I wrote a Perl script that generates G-code for carving lenses. Core parameters are the diameter and the focal length of the lens. The router carves the lenses from outside to center position. After each run the spindle is lifted for 20 microns, which is equal to no more than 21 steps of the motor on the Z-axis. I'm using 10mm acrylic plastics for the lens that has a diameter of 100mm and a focal length of 300mm. The machine is currently equipped with not so powerful steppers to see what can be done with cheap motors before upgrading to high torque drives. With the weak motors, the maximum feed rate is 5mm per second. The job is done after almost 4 hours. You can clearly see the layered structure that was carved by the 1.5mm tool. The pattern on the surface is made of circles with a layer height of 0.02mm and all rings are perfectly centered. To make it an optical instrument, the surface has to be smoothened, I'm using sandpaper in a first run... ...and an abrasive cleaner afterwards. During sanding, I could feel that there are waved structures on the surface which make the lens useless. The reason for this was a poorly adjusted Z-axis. After re-tightening all linear drives, I had a second run. Since I was running out of space for another 100mm lens, this one has a diameter of 60mm at a focal length of 110mm. The good thing with having a lens carving machine is that you get the highest flexibility in geometry. This job was finished after two and a half hours. The surface was much better now as it came out of the CNC router and after smoothing with sandpaper, I am now using toothpaste for the fine run. I really hate doing manual work like this and to make things easier, I am now using an old electric shaver to polish the surface. Even with that half automatic work, I still did not have the patience to make it a really glossy surface. The sun was up and running, so time to check if I can harvest a couple of beams to perforate a piece of paper. Even with a definitely non-perfect lens surface, it works. Lenses are great tools to harvest even much smaller portions of incoming light as it's made with microscopes or telescopes. I will add two more axes on my CNC router to automize all steps of manufacturing lenses. You can get the build instruction and follow the machine evolution on my pages as well as on Hackaday. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.